look like? Do you not know, look like Voldemort from Harry Potter? I've literally just finished packing. I'm gonna go work now and then leave at five. My friend's gonna meet me at work. So then um, we can both drive out together and then I'm probably gonna get there around seven because we rented like a big apartment in um, Ipswich and I'm not looking forward to the drive. I need my car to survive this journey because it needs to get serviced in MLT. And you know what? God is in control. So it's like, you ain't even got to worry. Hmm. But no, yeah, after work, I'm literally going to see if I can clock off early because I've got a couple clients, so I don't know. But I'm going to see, hopefully, someone cancels so I can just drive up there quickly and miss the traffic. But I will see you in Ipswich. You better turn up. Oh, Hold on. Oh my god. I'm so hungry. Hi. Hi. This Hi. Is I'm half dead. My oh, back's hurting. <laughs> okay, I want to see how I'm half dead. I think this is room two. Oh my god, this is my room. Oh, wait. This is so cute. Hi! What are you doing? Look at it. I love it. <laughs> oh, bless you guys. You oh gosh. Okay, so I got you flowers. Oh! Oh, you're gonna make me. Oh, Don't thank crack. you. Thank you. Yeah, I've got red in it. Yeah. Oh, bless you. Oh, thank 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 you. Oh, it was such a good drive the house is so big and so clean i honestly can't wait for this weekend and i look crazy and i don't know why i look crazy i need an eyelash info honestly but we move i'm gonna do like a proper tour so you've got my bed with this cute little cabinet and you've got obviously my carry-on bag my toes and you've got the bed they give you fresh towels even though i bought my own because no black people don't use those towels and then they've got like a little window Hi. with these cute little stuff. Then obviously, wait, 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 you've got the wardrobe. Slides in and out. And then slide shut. This house is so nice, honestly. Like, it's so white and aesthetic and so clean so far. Like, so far, so good. I've literally bought everything. I've bought the whole world with me. I don't know if I'm going to wear everything I've bought, but I've bought everything just in case. Because you never know. But I feel like this is such a, like, a good space for me. Yeah. Someone's deaf up and smoking in here. I love that. Feed the cats. I know, but there's only... There's enough food, Mum. The cats have enough food. Don't let Penny starve. Ginger can eat the hard food. Where's it? Where's it gonna go? Your room is cluttered. You're a hoarder. I just had to call my mum, let her know that I'm here, and just rant to her because this is my first time like being away with girls. It's a little bit of an odd experience for me. I need to get out of my comfort zone. A long one. <laughs> oh, these are cute. I ain't getting sixty quid for two nights now. Oh, these are cute. You want some banana slippers? I look literally a little white. No. <laughs> oh my god. I might have to borrow and be for sleeping tonight because I'm telling you, better. I'm gonna get one of them. Do you understand? Yeah, got that out. actually looks nice. Oh my gosh, we're in Tesco getting some snacks. Because we ain't got no snacks and I haven't got no bed slippers and the floor is cold. The heat is gonna come on. Oh these are so cute. If I had a baby to buy these for. All my nieces and nephews are grown old. Do I wanna go for a toffee nut or do I wanna go for a mocha? Oh my god, chocolate caramelised hazelnut latte. We literally just come back from Tesco. I'm gonna jump in the shower because it's so cold, and I'm gonna eat something. And yeah, I bought these cute fluffy slippers. I've got my slippers at home. I like these cute little slippers. Right. How cute! I've literally just come out of the shower. I feel so Christmassy. I'm wearing my little red top from Tesco. I'm wearing these little black cycling shorts, and there's no mirrors 
in this house. I don't know how I'm going to survive. I'm going to have to do my hair and stuff on the camera because this is the only mirror that I can find in the house. I'm literally just waiting for my laptop to charge. I'm about to go eat some food. We've got some wings and mac and cheese and I'm starving. I was probably going to watch EastEnders. Oh, yeah. Do you want to watch it now? Are you up to date? Oh, you up to date? I'm not up to date. I need to catch up. Have you watched today's one? No. Okay, cool. Let's watch that tomorrow. Okay. So, say we watch tomorrow. When I catch up today, I'll probably catch up when everyone's sleeping. Oh. I should have put sugar in it, but you know what? It's sweet enough. I'm literally watching these standards, and I think we're gonna play some games later because basically we're all here because basically we're all um like church sisters. We're all from the same church, so we're all honestly just on this um getaway. We're in Ipswich. We rented an apartment, and we're all just here for from Friday until Sunday, and we're just trying to get to know each other a bit better. Obviously, we go to church together, but we wanna not just know each other in church, but also know each other individually outside of church. So we're here and we're just going to get to know each other by spending a couple of days together really bonding and just you know seeing what each other's like and forming um stronger relationships with each other that's just the main aim of this girl's trip and yeah and i am in my room because everyone is somehow in their room like i think four of us have our own rooms i have my own room and then two other people i think and then like four other people are sharing so yeah i'm in my room watching eastenders and then i think in a bit because right now it's about like what time is it right now it's 10 53 i think in a bit we're gonna go downstairs and play some games and stuff because apparently the night is young it is like one ish a.m we've literally just been chilling talking having a semi heart to heart but i think when you're around other people it really highlights certain things about yourself like for me i know that certain things i need to work on with god is why um, why sometimes in certain situations am I so unin touch with my emotional side in a sense like it's so easy for me to not care about something or a situation it's so easy for me to just not care and I don't know if that's normal I don't know I'm gonna literally go to bed now I will see you tomorrow hopefully the breakfast is good because I want to wake up to breakfast I'll probably be up at like seven I like to wake up with the sun and my camera is dying so I will see you tomorrow Okay, so it's the next morning and I'm ready. The first thing I do is when I get up, I get up, I shower, brush my teeth, wash my face and I get ready for the day and then I go and see what my day is. So I'm literally just going to go downstairs, see what everyone's making for breakfast and probably go into town to see what's in town because we've got like an Ipswich town here you know we're all in a house and stuff but I think I want to explore the town because I've never really been to Ipswich and see what they got in there see what the sales are saying and yeah I will take you with me to breakfast mm -hmm. this would be nice in summer though yeah mm -hmm. the garden yeah yeah that little garden anyone do any online shopping yesterday? only you like yeah. you sort of walked yesterday We're gonna wait until about like five-ish because right now it's 2 30. We're gonna wait till five, go to the town centre in Ipswich yeah, because um sales are still on. I wanna see what stuff they got. Like I might grab a little bit of bits, a little bits in um TK Maxx and see what else is in this town centre. It is raining though, this is why I'm kind of stalling. I'm hoping it stops raining by the time we go because I'm not trying to get this hair wet. This is freshly strained. I'll probably see you in the town centre and we'll see what I can grab, you know. I've already done my Christmas shopping because your girl is always on time. Guys, look how cute this is. It's like two makeup bags. I love it. I love it. We're in a town centre, it's a bit small and I don't want to spend any money but I already have. Honestly. I don't know if it's like a body shop or something. If I could just get something. Yo bro, who got you smiling like that? Like so we found a H&M. 
Is this a perfume shop? Oh. McDonald's. Look who we are! Hi! Hi! What are you guys doing here? We're out here shopping the same wow. as you. Oh, oh, the oh, blazers! Oh. The blazer! Blazer crew. Funny. Oh, wow. I like this blazer wow. leader. Oh my god, my camera literally died just as I was in um, town. I'm so annoyed. I didn't even get to record any more footage, even though we didn't even really do much. We literally just went into JD, Primark, and Kino, River Island, I think. That's all we've really done. But yeah, now we've just got back. We're going to do a little self care night. I'm going to wash my face, put on a face mask, and then yeah, I'm still going to eat for food. I've literally cleansed my face, I've toned it, I've put some tea tree oil on it because it helps with my spots even though I'm breaking out. And now I've got a black mask on, my skincare girls know what this is. Let's get our face mask on. Oh shoot, I should have opened it up. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. <coughs> I'm going to ruin my eyelashes. Oh my gosh, it's all, I look like... Do you know what I look like? I look like Voldemort from Harry Potter. Why is it so cold, Daddy? Oh no, it's freezing. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm not trying to get my hair in this mask. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Do you want one? Yeah. It's very hydrating, that's why. If it's warm, it would open your pores. This is going to shrink your pores. That one as well. Oh! We will do in self care. <laughs> so I'm going to spend like an hour editing. I've been editing this vlog as I go along just to make it a bit easier because I think I've got a quite a bit of footage my mum's been sending me like um updates of my cat literally i'm gonna insert a picture of penny she's been sending me pictures of penny and ginger those are my two cats and they're coping without me and i'm not sure how i feel about that okay i'm not sure because they should be distraught i think we're just gonna have like a little worship night and just enjoy our last night i didn't bother vlogging um the rest of our evening just because we really spent some time in good presence like you know for our last night i think it went really well we ended our last we ended our time here while well, last night with prayer and really just letting god do his thing and i think that was the whole point of this trip to just spend some time together away from church get to know each other in a new setting in a new way i didn't vlog too much of this trip just because majority time i was just in the moment but yeah tomorrow we're leaving but yeah i'll see you tomorrow now is not the time for you to be slacking with your purpose or slacking with God. Now is the time to really take your calling serious. It's a time to really take God serious, like do God's will. Like you should not be slacking in the areas of God. Like I know sometimes it's hard to be consistent, but that should be your main priority. Spending time with God, getting to know God, doing God's will. You know, there's no point reading the word if you're not actively doing the word. You know, these are the end days. These are the last days. We're coming to the end of the year where madness has happened. This is the time to connect more with God, get closer to him and really establish a relationship with him, establish intimacy. Like, don't think that you have forever to choose God. Trust me, choose him now and forget the rest. I'm literally up, I think it's like 9.30 and I think I'm like the first one that's up, showered and stuff and ready. We're meant to be checking out by 12 but I'm literally just going to go downstairs and make some breakfast because I don't think no one's going to make me breakfast today. Free paper bun. But yeah, I'm literally going to go downstairs and make some breakfast and then I'm going to get ready. I'm literally the only one that's awake right now, I'm like the only one downstairs. This is a little bit weird. I'm such an early riser. Like, I wake up early all the time. I'm always the first one to wake up. I don't have curtains at home because I like to wake up when the sun comes up and I'm the first one of eight people that's um, up for breakfast.
I don't know what to do. I think I might just go upstairs and edit some more. Like it's literally so quiet. I'm just in the living room and it's got a slight echo. There's literally nothing to do. Like no one's up. It's just me. I'm the earliest person in the house. Do you know what? I'm actually going to stop packing because I think it's about like 9.45. I think it sounds like someone's up. I can hear someone's door opening. I'm going to stop packing and yeah, I'll see you in a bit. And that is a wrap guys, my girls weekend is over, I'm about to drive to London, try and catch um, a church service if I can. Thank you for watching my vlog, I hope you enjoyed and wish me a safe drive.